Hey guys, how's it going? Theater Box Guru. So today I'm going to show you how to connect your XBMC Kodi system to your Philips Hue light. We're going to put it in theater mode so that every time you play a movie, it's going to slowly dim out and when the movie's over, it's going to dim back in. It's a really cool addition, really cool feature. So the first thing you want to do is download the Philips Hue XBMC script. I'll have a download in my description below. Then once that's finished, you want to go to settings and system. Then go to add-ons. Then you want to go to install from zip file and go to the location that you downloaded the script. I put mine on my desktop in a folder. Then once you see that it's enabled, you'll find it in enabled add-ons. Now, if you don't find it there the first time, check disabled add-ons and then enable it. Sometimes it does that. So go to enabled add-ons and then go to services. And then you'll find Philips Hue XBMC. There we go. So we want to go into that and press configure. Now, first thing we want to do is connect our bridge. All right, let it search for it. Now, please go press the button on your Philips Hue bridge until you see that it's connected. All right, there you go. Mine connected. And then you're good to go once you see a valid IP. Now when you go down to the mode, you want to change Ambilight to theater mode. Ambilight changes the color, it's a cool theme but not quite there yet. I prefer using theater mode. So then when you go down to your lights, you have an option of group of lights, single lights, or three lights. When it's asking for a group ID, it's asking you for the number of your light. And if you go to your Philips Hue app, whichever number that light is, is the same ID. So you can make only two bulbs work or one bulb work. But I set zero to control all of mine. And that's it. So once you do that, you want to go to advanced settings on top. And you want to change the dim transition time to 10 seconds. This makes it so it has a longer dim undim time. And then if you scroll down a little further, you'll notice it says color bias. In my room, I made my lights blue. I like it when it dim and undims blue, but messing around with that color bias will change it. But by default, it's regular light. So once you've got that all that complete, press OK. You might have to restart your system to take effect, but then try to play a movie. Okay, so I'm going to be demoing this on my TV right now. I have two Philip Hue products, one in the ceiling and one Hue Iris right there. As soon as I select a film, it do its job of dimming out. Once you're ready to stop it, you'll see it slowly start to dim into a more and more brighter. Now I've set my hue to change into a blue yellowish color. You can mess around with that color by standard, it'll be default light, but it's up to you.